Hey everyone, welcome back to our Raid Shadow Legends challenge. Uh, we're trying to do this everything the hard way. We're not using any promo codes to get any additional champions in the start. And we've thrown Rhonda in the vault. So we're just going by what we pull or what we earn. And speaking of earning, I'm not doing too good here with this uh, magic keep. I've done it a lot because I have a lot of magic champions as you can see here. And we're not getting very many potions. I had to do it for the... Uh, missions as well but Mr. Can this guy is clutch here he's not necessarily carrying us but we definitely wouldn't be able to do it without him block buffs and stealing the shield he's got it so yeah let's have a look we did get a new mic finally so hopefully our sound is better and it's not all crackly like it was so what we did do is we did six star our Gaelic and we did get him masteries we bought them so we're kind of low on gems so we just need to get them ascended so that's done and what also happened was we were able to get a Romero because we got to the uh, top level here in the challenge for the uh, not challenge but the tournament for uh, champ training so we got him leveled up got all the food leveled up that gave us enough points so we have Romero which he's not too useful Although I did put him in my clan boss team just because he does have this continuous heal for everybody because I don't really have any healing. So he'll be in there for a short term probably. He's not that great, but plus he's forced, which is something I, I don't have. And this guy, I'm not sure how you want to pronounce his name. Skaramis or Skaramis. But this guy could be pretty good. I finally just got him ascended to three stars, which unlocks his A3, which is the one that has provoke and puts counter attack. And I was thinking, right, if he provokes them, that's one turn of CC. Then when they attack him, he's going to counter attack, which will be the A1, which after they attack, they should have very low turn meter. So when he attacks and he uses his A1, if he knocks their turn meter back to being fully depleted, which sounds like it should be a high chance of that happening, They'll have a 20% chance of placing a stun. That's really good. So you basically you have a chance to see seeing someone for two turns with this guy. So yeah, I wasn't really maybe planning on building him out too much, but maybe I'll have to keep an eye on it and try it and see how it works out. You know, so 20, 30, if you get the ma mastery for him, the eagle eye is going to be 35% chance to stun. That's some, some pretty good crowd control. So, and yeah, I did get uh, one void shard. I didn't record it. I thought, you know, if I don't record it, maybe I'll get something good, which, as you can see, didn't happen. Uh, skirmisher, yeah, that's going to be a chicken, probably. Although I do need to be careful and stop uh, using all of my rares as chickens, because in Faction Wars, at the moment, I don't really have anything, so I need to start saving up some decent uh, rares or even uncommons to at least get a few stars in them or be able to do them every day, because I found that was a problem, too. I, I jumped in too quickly into my, my advanced quests, and one was to do a faction war without losing anyone, but I already went through and, and did the highest level I could to get the best rewards I could, and then I couldn't get the extra energy. So I really need to look at my advanced quest first before I start uh, hopping in and doing everything right away. So you can see we do have uh, seven ancient shards. I believe it's just gonna be a week and a few days for two X on ancient shards. So I'm gonna try to show some restraint and hold on to these and wait for that two X so hopefully we can get something good to help us progress here. So in the meantime, I'll just keep trying to work on these challenges. Some of these are going to have to wait. Reach Gold 1 in Classic. I'm, let's see where I'm at. I'm in Silver something. I'm in Silver 2. So trying to move up slowly. The teams are getting harder. Every now and then someone throws the uh, one-man defense in, which helps. And yeah, for uh, champions level 50 or higher. That's not going to happen as I only have, I think, one six star. I don't even have a second five star yet. Or did I? I can't even remember. How about the Coffin Smasher? Nope, he's still four. So he'll probably be my next fifth star. So we can get in the clan boss, which we are doing okay. We can one key easy, two key normal. This clan is not real active. I think there are a lot of new players too. So they were doing everything the hard way. So we might as well do this the hard way too. We'll hang out for a bit, see if we can grow with them. Hopefully they'll be active and start knocking down the clan boss. They're killing the easy one, but not normal yet. In our clan versus clan, yeah, you can see probably there's not a 
lot of real active people, right? Like half the people are not active. So, but this will this is great for new people. Any kind of extra energy or anything like that is a big plus. So, I think clan versus clan helps the new players a lot more than the old players. And yeah, artifacts were almost there on that one. Dungeons, I have to do the keeps. Bummer about the keeps now. It's you gonna have to wait for them to open again. So I've been trying to hit magic as much as I can because that's what I need. So I think other than that, it's basically just gonna be farming up chickens. And yeah, I haven't really done much in the faction keeps. There's not a lot to do. I don't have the champs. Barbarian, I did pretty good with War Maiden and Orcs with that Gaelic, so we're pretty good in those. The other ones, yeah, we're kind of straggling behind. And yeah, just basically banging away with what we can. Try to buy our Drex Fragments. Alright, everybody, I guess that'll just about do it for this video. Uh, one more thing to keep in mind the special tournaments. There was one earlier that I was able to win with a very few victories. And now there's a dragon tournament going on with lizard men. Unfortunately, I only have like three and they're below level 10, so I'm not gonna be able to do anything about it. But if you have a chance, you can get some pretty good rewards for doing minimal work. So yeah, it's a good idea. Always check out the tournaments and see if there's a special events and there's anything that you can do. Sometimes it only takes a few runs to get uh, shards or relentless gear, some some nice rewards for very little. So, yeah, I'll just keep on uh, working on food, try to get some more shards, see at least if I can get up to 10. Uh, I believe I still have uh, four more I think I can buy in the market. You get six per month I think it is, right? And then, I didn't know you also are limited to six also for rewards for winning the dragon or other dungeons. I didn't know that one had a limit on it. So, anyway, uh, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.